up with you and tell you what's going on what has been going on but if i do that now i will be late for, i will be late for work so let's go to work and then later when i come back we're gonna have a cute little sit down this is my outfit of the day this bag my camera mm -hmm. that bag and this office top office pants and issues i've decided to just switch to the front camera anyways um it's currently 7 45 i really need to leave now if i don't want to be late and i am also carrying this sweater in case i feel cold or it gets cold so let's go I good morning today is thursday it's currently 7 50. this is my outfit my camera y'all my camera also it's the first of august and my birthday is on the 29th of august oh my it's my birthday month i'm so excited anyway so this is how i've tied my hair i removed the two pussy cuts and then kind of did a braid going down the outfit there's nothing much to really say about it it's a hoodie and black pants and those shoes and socks carrying this same bag i carried yesterday i know my room is a mess i know it will be clean today it will be clean today so i feel like a black bag will do much better with this outfit if i can even call this an outfit but yeah that's how we look today i think we just have to go do the work the outfit doesn't really matter that much okay as long as you're getting your work done as long as you're doing your job off it doesn't matter i'm gonna brush these edges a bit good morning my face is always so oily in the morning I am getting ready to go to work, but now I am making something to carry. I'm gonna carry sausages and the cake that I will be having with coffee at work. Because lately I've noticed that when I eat outside, I get a stomach ache, so we don't want that today.
and also I am getting ready, getting dressed. I want to wear these two colors to get together. If I really love brown, <laughs> I love brown so much. These two colors, and this is the bag I am carrying. I'm wearing this inside of the dress because it's quite cold, and also I don't know. Sometimes I just don't like showing skin at all. Anyways, so today I <clears throat> let me start the story. <laughs> I usually wake up at 6 a.m. because when I wake up at 6, I get to do my Bible study, yeah? I try to have two personal Bible study by myself. Not by myself because God and the Holy Spirit are there. So I try to do them humanly alone uh, at like in the morning and in the evening. So the morning one is more of a Bible study where I read the scripture and ask for revelation from God. The evening one is more of a devotional. So most of the heavy lifting there is already done. All I need to do is show up and just ask for revelation <laughs> based on the topic. So lately, I've been finding it so hard to wake up at 6. Like, I've been finding it so hard to wake up at 6 because I leave the house at 7.40. So if I wake up at 6, I usually allocate around 30 to 40 minutes to my morning Bible study. And so, oh, this is so cute. It's a crop top. It's a cropped shirt. I can't wait to wear this with jeans and boots and go outside. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, by the time I am done with the Bible study, it is usually either 6.50 or 7 on the dot. So I have just enough time to get ready and leave the house, yeah? And then I was like, that was so hard. I was like, how about we try 6? But the first time I tried 6, I ended up snoozing my alarm until 7.10. And I had to run for my life. That was the first day I did not make my bed because of being late since I started at this new job. So, um, it's like now I am in this dilemma because one thing I always pray is that whatever God blesses me with or whatever God gives me should never take first place to the point where it's, I prioritize it more than I do my time with God. You see, for me to... So, today I woke up at 7. Today I woke up at 7. That means I don't have time to do my Bible study, which is bad. Yeah, I know during the day I'm going to be listening to gospel music. I'm going to listen to a preaching or two by Monroe, Dr. Miles Monroe. I am going to be praying in between. But it's still so different and I feel like your Bible study is still so important, even though you're going to be doing all of that, because there is so much knowledge in the Bible that we wouldn't know of if we don't read the Bible. So I am a very big advocate of reading your Bible for yourself and reading your Bible for your spirit man, your spirit to grow. So now I was like, I woke up at seven and I don't feel as tired. And so um, I was downstairs just making my, what's it called, making my lunch. And I was like, okay, this, is, this actually does look good. And I was like, God, please don't let this take away from my time with you. Let me check if I'm recording. Yes, I am. Literally, as soon as I said, let me check if we're recording, it stopped recording. Anyways, I don't remember what I was saying, but first let me show you my shoes of the day. One of my friends, Sunshine, say that I am in my flat era, and it's so true. I want to get more flat, more ballerina shoes because they're just so comfortable and so pretty and work with almost any outfit you decide to put together. And a lot of times I will get home when the devotionals are already over because I used to leave work so late. I, I was supposed to be leaving at 7 p.m. But sometimes I would just I would have to stay until so very late um, in the night. Yeah, when I think about that place, anyways, it is well. So sometimes I'll get home at like 10. Sometimes I'll get home at like 11, and I will be so frustrated because I had me I have missed the family devotion. One thing about unity: unity brings the kingdom of God down. There's a verse that literally says, where two or three are gathered in the name of God, he will be in their midst. And another one that says, if two people on earth agree on something, it will be so in heaven. So that tells you that there is power in unity. And that is why I really love our family devotionals, because they're just a chance for us to be in front of God at the same time in the same place. And God moves when you guys are in the same place together. Look at um, Acts chapter 4 verses 2. It was the day of Pentecost when they were all praying together and all that. And then the Spirit of God literally came down upon all of them. Why? Because there was unity. Okay, a lot of factors, but I'm sure one of them is the fact that there was unity. <laughs> and so I love our family devotional time. Because pray 
praying is calling the kingdom of God down, you know. But reading the word is understanding the mind of God. So that, so that is why they say pray scriptures. You cannot pray something you do not understand. And that is why I'm a very big advocate for reading the word for you to understand, for you personally as a human on this earth, and for your spiritual self as a spirit living on this earth. We need to understand the word of God so that we, we then understand how to pray. Because you cannot pray scripture if you don't even understand what the scripture means. You get what I'm saying? So yes, I'll be praying and all that. But there is so much knowledge I would have gotten if I did my Bible study. I believe that there is so much knowledge, so much wisdom in the Bible that we miss out on because we don't have our own personal uh, times with God. It was quite uh, funny, but not so funny, that on the day after literally reading John 12, 25, the one that says die to self, that we must die to ourselves. And yeah, it's so funny that after reading that word, which basically meant that I need to die to myself. I need my body to die to the sleeping until seven. I needed to wake up at six to do the Bible study for me. After learning about that is when I wake up at seven. Are you kidding me? Is the enemy trying me here? <laughs> so yeah, take out time in your day. It doesn't have like me, because for me, I do morning Bible study and then family devotional and then personal devotional. I wanted to say solo devotional, but I'm not really alone because I have God and the Holy Spirit. Um, with me if i did not have them i wouldn't be understanding those, those devotionals at all because some topics i wonder how so yeah just um set aside time for your bible study because trust me there is so much knowledge knowledge in the bible and as much as you will meet with your family to pray again you need to do it on your own too and in as much as you'll be going throughout your day because i used to be the type of person that i'll be praying during the day blah blah, blah. yeah but what about the word how are you gonna pray scripture when you don't know scripture? How, honey? Even the enemy will be laughing at you. You don't know what you're praying. Anyways. Oh. Remember, honey, reading your scripture is the only way you can learn how to pray the scripture. And praying the scripture will give you results. I call praying scripture effective praying. Praying scripture is so effective because it's God's word and God's word is more far powerful than his throne. He values his word more than he does his throne. So if it is written in his word, honey, trust me, he is bound to do it. Okay, bye. <laughs>
I am praying to get a new phone for my birthday as my birthday gift but yeah these are the earrings I have on they're so cute and that's all for jewelry really so let's get to work and do the work yeah I enjoy what I do I enjoy what I do This is Debbie checking in. I got home at around 6.45. I walked from the bus stop today. So it was really nice. I got home, chilled a bit, took a really, really, really nice long shower. It is like a full-blown shower, you know, when you do your scrub, when you do your shaving and all that. Mm, I feel so good. So it's currently 10, 10 15, and I am watching a show called the midwife it's so good now listen daughter pay attention pray and listen hear your father his lies they told are so familiar They will haunt you, they will kill you Keep you hostage, king will heal you Before him, adore him He will give you everything Come and take your Can't wedding ring back Unless you are stagnated, you are confused And you are not sure what the next move will be where Jesus comes and says, Look, why not about the next move? Rise up! 